Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about a topic called catalysis. So what is catalyst? So we have seen that catalyst is nothing but substance which by its mere presence increase or decrease the rate of reaction without being itself used up. So they take part in the reaction. They form intermediate also sometimes but they are not being used up, right? So the substance which by its mere presence increase, they increase the rate of reaction. It was level 40, it made it 130. Maybe the rate of reaction is increased just by its mere presence. And they are called catalyst, right? And this action of catalyst to change the rate of reaction is called catalysis. Let me write here, catalysis is nothing but action of catalyst alter or change rate of reaction this is called catalysis correct for example nickel is used in hydrogenation it increases the rate of reaction the next example is decomposition of potassium chloride so if you see this potassium chloride kClO3 it will decompose into KCl and oxygen. This is the balanced reaction. Now without catalyst, it will need a temperature of almost 800 Kelvin. But if you use MnO2, the same reaction will need almost 450 or 480 Kelvin. So if you see, the temperature requirement has decreased. Earlier, some 800 Kelvin was required, or more than 800. Now, only 480 Kelvin is required for the same reaction. So, here MnO2 is a catalyst. Another reaction can be uh, to produce ammonia. I have N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NS3. It doesn't happen on its own, but if you use this iron catalyst, the reaction is fast. So, here iron is a catalyst in this reaction. Also, we have seen the platinum electrodes that are used for electrolysis. This is also one example of catalyst. Enzymes in our body is a very good example of catalyst because these enzymes are used to digest food and these enzymes are also used for various functions in our body. Right? If you talk about this word catalyst, this word was coined, coined by Menchelison in 1835. So this guy was uh, studying the effects of foreign elements on various reactions and he coined this term in 1835 called catalyst. When you talk about catalyst, we have two things. We have promoters and we have poison. So one which enhances the speed of reaction and one which slows down the speed of reaction. Right? So promoters, they enhance the activity of catalyst. And poison decrease the activity of catalyst. So just understand this. See, for a reaction, we have something called catalyst. Right? These catalysts will either increase the speed of reaction or will decrease the speed of reaction. Correct. Now, to, to change the impact of catalyst, if you use promoter or you can use poison. So if you are using a promoter, the catalyst which was supposed to increase the reaction will increase the reaction all the more. If you use the promoter for the catalyst which is decreasing the rate of reaction, it will decrease the rate of reaction all the more. Similarly, poison. Poison is to decrease the effect of catalyst. right? So for a reaction where you are using a catalyst to increase the rate of reaction, if you are using a poison, it will minimize the rate of reaction. It'll, I mean, the catalyst will be there, the re reaction will happen, but will help in controlling the rate of reaction because see it is like this i know i have a catalyst catalyst can impact the rate of reaction but you know if i want to control the catalyst activity so in that case we can use promoters and poison if you use some promoters the activity you can accelerate the activity you can enhance the activity of the catalyst if you use some poison you can decrease the activity of the catalyst right so 
poison and promoters has to be clubbed with catalyst. They can't be used alone. For example, this NH2N3H2, if you use iron as a catalyst, iron is a catalyst to give ammonia, right? Here my molybdenum, it acts as a promoter to the iron. It acts as a promoter. And this iron is my catalyst. So hope you understand the difference between catalyst and promoter. So catalyst is something which impacts the rate of reaction without getting it impacted on its own. Now, the rate of reaction is impacted by the catalyst. If you want to control the rate of the impact, what we can do is we can use some promoters or poison. With that, we can actually impact, change this uh, catalyst behavior. So if you use molybdenum, it acts as a promoter and the iron catalyst acts all the more better. Right? Again, uh, the other reactions I can use, for example, uh, hydrogenation reaction we know, right? I have alkene, you use hydrogenation in presence of platinum catalyst, maybe it's alkene. Correct. So here, I can use sulfur or arsenic. These guys are poison. This is a poison. This is a platinum is a catalyst. So these poisons help in controlling the rate of reaction. For example, from alkyne, if I do a hydrogenation just in the presence of platinum catalyst, you'll get alkene. But instead of alkene, I want alkene, right? I want to remove only one hydrogen bond. This has three hydrogen bonds. You get all the two hydrogen bonds is gone, and you get alkene. But if I want to give it, make it alkene, I want only one hydrogen bond to go in the presence of catalyst again platinum. I'll use poison, right? I can use sulfur or arsenic. The moment you use this suppose sulfur, the arsenic, then my alkyne will be converted into alkene. So Lindler's catalyst is another good example of my poison. Correct. So these are the poisons which helps in controlling the rate of activity of catalyst. These note the activity of catalyst is impacted by promoter and poison. So these impact catalyst, right? So these are the one which impact the catalyst. They don't. I mean, end of the day, since now see these promoters and uh, poison impact the catalyst, and catalyst impact impact the reaction rate. So end of the day, they help in controlling the rate of reaction. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.